Welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey, and we have a problem. Uh, Houston, we have a problem with the Nintendo Switch OLED Tears of the Kingdom Edition. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Welcome to the Odyssey. Hit the like, press play. You're running with the squad like C, no play. Drive like Mario, we on. So before we get into today's stories, you see, I want to ask you one thing. I want to ask for your subscription. You see, I'm legally blind and I'm basically losing my sight uh, as we go. I don't have sight on my left eye and I have about 40% sight of my right eye. And it's just fading away, right? The doctors right now have nothing else they can do. But I have a dream to become a full-timer on YouTube by the end of this year. And I, I'm, I want to ask you for your help. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel right now, it'll only take a second. For me, it'll just change my life. So if you could do that right now, I would really appreciate it. Here, we have Monday through Friday Nintendo News. On the weekends, we have products and reviews. And we also have the occasional and topic podcast with your favorite voice actor. So I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. And I just want to thank you in advance for giving me your subscription. Let's move on to today's stories. All right, guys. So it looks like some, uh, at least one that has been reported, uh, Tears of the Kingdom Edition Switch has gotten this issue with the blue screen of death. Yes, if you did not know what the blue screen of death is, basically it's when you turn it on and all you get is a blue screen. Now, this has happened to me before. Yes, more than once. Specifically with the Switch OLED models. Yeah, I had to literally purchase. I bought one. I had to return it. I bought another one. Got the same screen of death. Basically, I, on my third Switch, that's when I was I was able to get actually the good, good, good screen. It happened with the white version. But now it appears that there is another Switch out there that has the blue screen of death. And when this with this Switch actually releasing yesterday, there might be others out there with this same issue and uh this comes to us by tears of the kingdom at reddit and user no bass 911 uh basically as you see here on screen says i want to jump off a bridge so sorry man i just opened my box and immediately got a blue screen of death that man that is just horrible but the best thing they can do is go back and, tra and, and trade it in. Um, I read I read on uh, down in the description, it, it appears they bought it on Amazon. Yes, go ahead. Amazon has quite a stock of these Switch OLEDs in stock, so go ahead and exchange it. Immediately, if you have the same exact issue, go ahead, don't think about it, don't restart it. Even if you do restart it, and you get the screen again working, it's not good. It's not good. You are bound to have this blue screen of death again. And next time it might be permanent. And next time you might be out of the return period. So it's best to actually just return the switch, get a brand new one tested to make sure that it is going. If you bought one of these Nintendo switches to collect and you don't plan on opening it, you know, there is no seal on it. So you can open it test it make sure you don't have the switch blue death screen thing and close it back up just to make sure you have a good switch so i recommend that anyone who has just purchased a switch oled tears of the kingdom edition do just that go ahead open it test it make sure you're all good to go put it back in the box if you want to collect it or start playing it if you want to play it. but this is an issue this is why i wanted to bring it out there because it is an issue it has happened to me and it has it has happened to other people i know and, and, and it, even though it's not a major issue to make headlines, I wanted to bring it up to you guys to let you know that is a thing. You need to, to make sure that your Switch is not in, in this, this field, whether it's the OLED version for Tears of the Kingdom or any other OLED edition. This could happen because I had it with the white edition. So there you have it, guys. If you have this, return it right away. Get a, a, a refund or get a replacement Switch. So there you have it. I really hope that no bass 911 is able to go ahead and return this. I know Amazon is very good at, uh, you know, returning things and replacing them. All you have to do is go to their website, go to your orders and click return. Select the, the, select the, why you want to return it. And they will actually send you a replacement before you even send them your return. So that's a good thing that Amazon has. They will send you your replacement before they, you send them the return and then you can use maybe the same box to send it back to them as well. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this 
uh, short episode letting you guys know of this little issue here. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And I will see you in the next awesome adventure here at the Odyssey. But before I let you go, I have two important things I need to let you know. Number one, never give up. Number two, journey on. Peace. Granted, but feels like we're learning to be better.